always wins. What is up, guys? Gamer the Video Game Scientist from BG Bootcamp here, and today we're going to talk about Rob's new ground throw, down throw in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you didn't see it, Rob is not playable in the current demo, but in his trailer it showed that his down throw do -do 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 grounds opponents. Being able to ground your opponent off a throw leads to guaranteed damage building setups, kill setups, etc, etc. Before we get to that though, real quick, I want to give a quick shout out to HyperX. They are one of VG Bootcamp's sponsors. They're awesome, they've been great to us, and they sell really, really, really good headset products and other accessories slash hardware. That right there is the Cloud Flight. It is their wireless headset. It's done through USB. The range is really good. They're very comfortable. Battery life's very long. Very nice headsets. Check it out in the description. Anyways, back to what we're talking about. Rob's ground throw, down throw. Let's jump into it. First, I just gotta say, this is definitely Rob's new down throw. It's not a trailer trick like Roy's neutral B turning Falco into chicken in the old Smash 4 trailers. And it's not a pitfall. I tried down throwing DK into a pitfall in Smash 4, and he got snatched into it before I could even start the throw. Also, you'll notice the animation is different than a normal grounded state. It looks like they made a new one specifically for Rob's down throw. We actually have footage of King K. Rool grounding DK in a different way, and it's his normal grounding animation from Smash 4. This is more evidence that this new grounding animation is definitely related to Rob's new down throw and isn't some trailer trick. All right, before I go into why Rob's new down throw is so good, I gotta explain how grounding works. When you hit a grounded opponent, they take normal damage. This means it's a good way to build percent. After a while, they'll eventually pop out. The higher the percent, the longer it takes someone to pop out. The attack someone gets hit with also determines their base grounded time. For example, DK side B, Villager's down smash, and Zero Suit Samus' down B all have different base grounding values. Pitfalls seem to have a set value though. Weight does not affect how long it takes for someone to pop out of the grounding animation. When grounded, you can mash buttons and roll your control stick to pop out even quicker. When you pop out, you fly straight up and can't do anything for 11 frames. We actually have footage of this in Ultimate too, so we know it still works the same way. During this 11 frame pop out, you cannot be grabbed. You can, however, be hit. In order to force your opponent out of their grounded animation, you have to hit them with a move that has enough knockback. As you know, percent affects knockback in Super Smash Bros. So, something like Rob's down tilt won't knock them out at 0%, but it will knock them out at higher percents. Here's the thing, if you get knocked out of a grounded state, you receive less knockback than if you get hit by the same move when you're not grounded. This means it's harder to kill someone if you put them in their grounded animation. Some moves have enough base knockback that they'll knock someone out of their grounded animation even at 0%. Also, because of that 6 frame pop out animation, if you pay attention to your opponent's percent and read their mashing pattern, you can charge an attack to force full knockback right when they pop out. Now, remember what I said earlier about some moves having enough base knockback that they can knock someone out of a grounded state? Well, the first hit of Rob's up smash does this. This means the first hit knocks the opponent out of the ground at half knockback into the second hit of up smash at full knockback. This basically means it's the same as just hitting someone with an up smash when they're not grounded. This is the main thing about Rob's new down throw animation that is really, really good. But there are some other mid to low percent applications that I've theory crafted that I'll show you now. I had to edit some of them together to make them flow a little better since Rob's down throw doesn't ground people in Smash 4. The editing's a little rough, but I think it gets the point across. At low to mid percents, you can spam down tilt to build damage. Rob's N air and the last hit of his up air both have decent base knockback. You can use these at low to mid percent to knock people out of their grounded animation at lower knockback. This leads to combos and, more importantly, a regrab. With characters that have lower profiles, you can shoot the top, down smash them into it, and then get a regrab. Now, if we throw all of this together, we might get something like this. Now, just want to be clear, this is really, really cool, but this is all theory crap, so it might not work in the final game. Ah! 
In the trailer, it shows Rob using down smash to knock DK out of the grounded animation. So I think what I'm showing here might actually be possible. And if I'm right, this new down throw actually is broken. And I'm really excited to see it because it's going to lead to some really, really cool things. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, consider subscribing or liking the video. If you really, really liked it, consider turning on notifications. I try to make sure I put out really, really good content on this channel. So uh, if you're notified, I think you'll like it. That being said, what are your thoughts? Do you think I'm right about Rob's new down throw? Or do you think I'm just I'm uh, reading too much into it because of Smash 4? Do you have proof that I'm wrong, that grounding's different in Ultimate? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, I'm really, really busy. I got things to do, so it's back to the lab with me. I'll see you guys next time. to the lab again, not again, back to the lab.